So hello everyone. I am Suresh and I scored 98 percent in plastering boards the previous year. Now I am on a mission to help you all unlock your full potential and hook your plastering boards. Now this video is not just a random tips and tricks video. It's the first episode of the Score Maxing series, a series where I will help you double your efforts and just guide you to the way of 500 out of 500 in your boards. So now just let's start the video, the video in which I am going to tell you how to score 500 out of 500. And yes, in this video there are three master tips to study science, and there are section by strategies. For example, physics, chemistry, and bio, all three separate strategies. And then I am going to give you a pro tip. And trust me, this pro tip is going to be the game changer. Now starting this video. So to study for the subject, you need to study the subject first. So what is science? Science is the why behind everything. Everything that is happening around you, with you or anything. So you need to be curious to study science. There is no reason you should, there is no why that will make you study science. You need to be in a relationship with it. There is no why to study science. It's just a curiosity. Are not you curious about what is happening around you and why is it happening? The most important part, why is it happening? Why is everything so? Now, you have the why to study science. You just need the how to study science. And here is how to study science. So point number one is read it till you feed it. This was my personal favorite and it helped me a lot. And I guarantee it, this will help you a lot. And what is it? So whenever you read a line in NCERT, don't just read it. Visualize it. Feel it in your mind. And imagine it in your brain. And it will do the thing. Like when you are reading a line, uh, deoxygenated blood enters the right atrium through vena cava and then it goes to the right ventricle through wall. You just don't read it. You feel it in your mind. You are just visualizing it. And what is this visualizing doing? It is just creating experience in the brain. It is just forcing the brain to visualize it. And then the once you visualize something, it gets stuck in your memory forever. And that's it. Explore the why behind everything. Why does this happen? Why do heart has valve? To prevent backflow of blood. There is a why behind everything. And once you understand the why, once you go for the why, you have curiosity developed in yourself and this curiosity leads to conceptual clarity and this conceptual clarity and curiosity when you have both of this then 100 out of 100 in science becomes the side effect of active recall and I personally love this thing of active recall so what is active recall whenever you learn anything in NCERT close the book and then try to explain the topic to something or someone that cannot reply you back and this feels the gap that is obstructing you or restricting you from achieving the full flow of the topic. And when once you fill these gaps, then you are not losing those one to two marks that you lose in your science examination always. And trust me, you are not going to forget anything that you teach. Why am I saying all this is because the human brain is designed to remember experiences, not facts. And this active recall makes you remember things in the form of experiences. Now, all the three master tips are over. And now it's time for the section by strategy. Starting with chemistry. Point number one, chemistry is all about reactions. You need to memorize those reactions, right? No. Repetition is the key. Repeat those reactions. Read those reactions every day. And just don't mug up the things forcefully. Build a strong base. How you will build a strong base is just remember the valency distribution table. You studied it in class 9th, structure of atom. Just go through it, memorize it and then you can frame the reactions on your own. You just, you just need to have an idea of the reactions and when you learn valency, you will just write it on your own. Point number 2. Act like a detective. Observe the color change. Smell. 
precipitate formation color of precipitate and everything and once you keep this in mind you will just ace your science board examination because in chemistry these things do come in examination and one marker two marker questions even three marker questions sometimes they ask it and when you know it you will write it and you will get marks point number three whenever you find something new write it down in your ncert and trust me this is going to help you in your case based questions and questions in which they ask like x y z and so on and it helped me a lot how i just wrote na which is found in the form of dry pellets and it turns sticky when moisture is present and it helped me solve a lot of questions related to chloralkali process now moving on to our fourth point just frame your own questions every line of ncert is a potential question so whenever you read a line and think it a question can be made from this just write the type of question that can be made from it like potential two mark question potential assertion reason questions and i did it and it came in my examination did two question came in my examination so whenever i did and crt and found oh this line is a potential assertion reason question i wrote it next to it and it helped me a lot questions came from those lines only and framing questions on your own has dual benefits first i have already told you and the second is that when you go to revise the ncert after a long time then you just don't need to read the text again you can just go through the question you have framed and that's it you have revised the chapter completely just through solving questions so wherever you find that a question can be made from it just write it down just write it down now the next point is activities many questions come from activities in the chemistry and many questions are left unanswered in activities of the chemistry part and in all sections and what you have to do is to just ask them to a teacher or google them and these questions will help you to find the substance mentioned in x y z questions or case based questions they will not directly come in your examination uh, so just go through them point number 6 mcqs mcqs are of three types easy moderate and those tricky questions in which each and every option seems to be correct and i used to hang and got in those questions and i used to lose marks but then i uh, discovered a secret strategy a secret method to attempt those questions see easy question easy mcqs are everyone's piece of cake moderate are just uh, a little tricky questions you can easily do that but for the tricky questions in which every option seems to be correct what you can do is that just go through all the options and try to find out which option has an ncert keyword has an ncert word which you have read in ncert this trick is definitely going to help you how you can find keywords just read ncert and whenever you find some important word just highlight it for example pulmonary vein aorta neutralization these are the important keywords so just highlight them now once you find those words in the mcq options just tick those options they are correct now time for bio what would bio bio diagrams and a lot of theory you need to memorize the theory in bio or what if you can memorize selected theory in bio because there is a lot of theoretical part in bio and you cannot just memorize it all so you will just need to be smart enough to identify the fruitful part from the non fruitful part and how did i do it i just used a pro tip what is the pro tip so whenever you are going to read a chapter first go and skim through the chapter point by know what are the topics in it what you have to read and then just jump to the pyqs and trust me this will change the game now you have to just analyze the pyqs just see which topic is repeated frequently which topic has the least number of questions and so on and so on which topic is not important which is important and then when you know all this about the important topics and the fruitful topics then just open the ncert read it and highlight and star mark the important topics read them memorize a topic and then when you read lines that are not important that you cannot find in pyqs just read it feel it and leave it you don't need to memorize it another thing is diagrams diagrams are very important in bio 
वेन एवर यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड एनी थिंग जस्ट गो थ्रू द डायग्राम एंड यू विल हैव द कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी एंड अगेन इफ यू डोंट हैव द कॉन्सेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी आई वुड अगेन सजेस्ट यू टू वॉच एनिमेटेड लेक्चर्स इन बायो ई स्पेस इट विल हेल्प यू अलॉट नाउ टाइम फॉर फिजिक्स फील फिजिक्स लर्न फ्रॉम टीचर्स दैट मेक यू फील फिजिक्स एनी यूट्यूब चैनल योर स्कूल टीचर एनी टीचर बट यू नीड टू हैव दैट टीचर हु मेक्स यू फील फिजिक्स Physics is something that cannot be memorized or studied on the surface level. You need to go into that depth of physics to just have a feel of it, to fall in love with physics. You cannot study physics on the surface level just by memorizing formulas and everything. No, you cannot study physics that way. You can study and score good marks in tenth as well, but in the longer run, in the science, or if you are preparing for JE or IIT, then you have to have the feel of physics now if you want to score just marks in class 10 here are some tips for physics that will just make you achieve good marks but not give you conceptual clarity the first point memorize formulas formulas are something that are like a weapon for your physics examination there are many benefits of formulas first benefit is that you can make definitions out of formulas like when you read the chapter electricity that is one of the most confusing chapters of class 10 you will just relate to it you can just create your own definitions don't need to memorize the definitions just use the formulas and you will make definitions the second benefit of formulas is that you can handle the tricky mcqs you can eliminate options of tricky questions using the formulas and then the third point is that you can solve numericals out of formulas and for numericals you need formulas yes that's it for physics if you want to know more tips to score good marks in chemistry physics and bio then do let me know in the comment section and this video was solely for conceptual clarity over chemistry physics and bio and if you want to just score marks somehow in class and science then i would highly recommend you to watch paper leak videos or just ask me out the important questions and trust me those questions will come in examination this video was for concept for the students who want to improve their science in the long run now that's it for the video and yes i promised a pro tip in the end and that pro tip is crack your marking scheme whenever you attempt any question just try to think what answer will i write so that it matches to the marking scheme what will be the marking scheme of this question and this approach will help you a lot in your boards answer writing and those students who are well in conceptual clarity but lack answer writing skills this pro tip is going to just help them a lot because when you understand when you know the marking scheme you just write two words and you get two marks that is the power of knowing marking scheme that is the power of predicting marking scheme if you want to know more about marking scheme then just google cbsc sample papers open the website of cbsc and then select any subject the academic year and then jump to the sample paper marking scheme page and just go to the marking scheme and just analyze the marking scheme and you will just get it that's it for the video now you are ready to cook your class 10 science exams subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload in the next video of this phone vaccine series you get notified and just improve your class and results like this video if you want more videos like this and share this to a friend who you truly want to see improve his score and remember boards are easy let that sink in that's it for the video bye